So God bless all of you. Thank you to Shushma Aunty for inviting me. And I'll tell you very quickly how this happened. And this happened because of God's grace. And if Sushma Aunty wants to tell you how it happened, she will. I will let her say a vote of thanks. But before I do so, I'll call on Acharya Leela Ji. So my own mother, she's come from New York. And we coincidentally booked our trips at the same time. You know, sometimes children don't tell mom what's going on. So she ended up here. I think she followed me. I think she stalked me or something. But she ended up here. And we're happy to have our mom's cousins, Auntie Sheila and Uncle Ramesh, and also our wonderful Uncle Butch and Uncle and Auntie Kamalini, doing very well in this Dallas society. But I'll ask Acharya Leelaji to say a few words, for she has studied at Sandeep Nisad in LA. I studied there from 2011 to 2014 under Swami Advainandaji and Swami Tejmainandaji also. And mom studied under both Advainandaji, Subodji, that you would have heard, Prabodji, Brahmachari, he was Brahmachari Prabodji. And both Advainandajis taught them for two years at Sandeep. And she returned in 2016 and she's sharing her knowledge just like I do as well in New York. So I'll have her say a few words and then we'll hand the microphone over to no, you go ahead and tell us how we it's always a blessing to be in satsang. I mean, the joy is unbelievable, especially when you can feel it and we can understand it. So how this all happened for me was that I, when Acharyaji Arunji was visiting, I'm sorry, was studying at Sandipani, I would visit him to make sure that he stays there and he studies for the full two years. So the last time I visited, his Acharyaji asked to see me. And um, he said, Amma, you should do this course. You should come and study also. And, um, and I said, Swamiji, but I can't. I was actually going to college. I started college at the age 15. I never got to college. And I said, but I'm going to school, and you know, my kids don't know how to cook, and uh, they don't pay the bills or clean the house. I can't come. And he, he said, you should. And he looked at me, and he smiled. And at the beginning of the next course, I was there. He saw something. The guru sees. And then, um, of course, uh, my old Swamiji, uh, and she, he was my guru and uh, when I got there for the course in August and I got my room key and I sat on the bed I got into my room for the first time I was like what am I doing here for two years uh, was this the right thing to do but then the course started and it was so beautiful it was so riveting it was so transformative that two years had passed, and when I was locking my suitcase for the final time to leave, I couldn't believe that two years had flown by. And actually, it was the best years of my life. Vedanta works. It really works. And, but we have whole work to do. We come to satsang, we listen to the injuns of the Shastras, and how do we retain, how do we analyze what we hear, how do we process it, and how do we remember and apply it to our lives? It's only when we go home and we pick up the scriptures like tonight, the Ramayana and Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya says, Veda Nityam Adhyatam, study your scriptures every day. Pick it up. Today, um, we should ask Acharji, Vishnoha, Balkanda, and go home and keep on reading it. How can we be Bhagavan Brahm? 
and Bharat, etc., and try to inculcate these values, it is the only way. Life is short, tomorrow is not promised. And the Bhagwan Adi Shankaracharya, of course, you must know which text I'm quoting from, Sadhana Panchakam. And he says, Sangha Satsuvijiya Dham, Bhagavato Bhakti Dhrita Dhyaya Dham, Shantya Adi Parichiya Dham, Dhrittaram Karma Shu Santya Chatham. Sadhana Panjakam is such a beautiful little text with 40 steps to take us from point A, the beginning of our sadhana, 40 steps to finding that bliss and happiness. So, you know, especially in, you know, I just joined the golden years, I just turned 70. It's a wonderful place to be. You're free of all responsibilities. And so what we do at this time is actually turn to the scriptures. There's no time to be bored. There's no time to feel lonely. Ekante sukhamasyatam. Live joyously in solitude. And step up your strengthened relationship with God. The benefits are tremendous, infinite. So study, study Vedanta. When we leave here, we remember and we feel good when we come to satsang, peaceful. But when we go out into the marketplace, which is the world, into the laboratory of life, how do we apply this knowledge? Vedanta gives us the methodology, and unless we systematically study Vedanta with a guru like we did, I mean, you, it, it, it will become a challenge to, to actually continue. We can, but it will be easier for us if we know how to find peace, how to focus, how to control, how to overcome challenges, how to make the right decisions, how to have a burning desire for whatever we are in pursuit of. And of course, we are always in pursuit of happiness. That's the goal of human life. So, May God bless all of us. May the blessings of Bhagwan Ram always be on us. It's wonderful. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to yeah, meet. So and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's just, it's just, um, actually, so I teach Vedanta as well with the blessings, with the grace of God and blessings of Guru. And in Dallas, we actually, I have some students here and, um, we do classes by conference call, and it works really well. We've covered um, our principal text, Tattva Bodha, and we have four other texts which we use as reference, which are um, Bhagavad Gita, chapter 2 and chapter 15, uh, and Amrit Bindu Upanishad, and Chandogya Upanishad, chapter 6, and it takes two years. And when we are finished, the students are, are like, okay guys, now I've taught you how to study the scriptures, how to understand it, go now, you don't need me, but nobody wants to stop. It just creates this uh, unquenchable thirst for this knowledge within us. So it's such a beautiful thing, and um, so blessings of God, grace of God, blessings of Guru. Hari Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Thank you. Thank you so much, <coughs> Mom, for being here. I tell you that you, this is just a, it's just a pleasant surprise. I'll tell you very quickly, I'll tell you very quickly how this happened. Now, this wasn't planned. You know, many people say, oh, planned six months in advance, two, two months. This was planned last week. This week. Wednesday. Wednesday. And how did it happen? I came from New York, and we went straight to DFW, Hindu Mandir, right? Hindu Temple. And I was taking darshan of Bhagavan, different murtis are there. And my father actually used to do pravachans there in the 90s. So I was just recollecting, I was, you know, imagining him sitting in a certain area of that place and giving pravachan and whatnot. And all of a sudden, Sushma Aunty walks in. And I immediately recognized her because we had a Chinmaya mission camp here in 2016. And when I recognized her, like, again, these horripilations started because what are the chances that I'll meet Auntie here at this temple at this point of time? And 
She told me thereafter, after the meeting, that she doesn't really come to the temple during the week, especially on a Wednesday. And it just made me believe that it was the Lord's will that this took place. And immediately she invited me over. She said, you must come. And I said, should we have satsang? She said, of course. And I was like, great. And then from there, the ball just started rolling. And here we are tonight. So I'd like to thank all of you for being here. God bless you. I mean, I don't live here. I live in New York. But nonetheless, I'm coming back in November. I will be at, I think, Auntie has a flyer. She'll share it. Yes. And I will be here for Gyan Yagnya at North Texas Hindu Monday. Right. I don't know if you know where that is, but the address is on that flyer. It is from November. <laughs> it's far, no? Huh? It's too far. Probably. Is it? Yeah. But anyway, don't worry. We came last time. Yeah. Come at least once. Yeah. And then you'll come all three. <laughs> so it starts on November 15th, 16th, 17th, I believe. It's the Friday, the 17th, 18th, and 19th. And the flyer has all the information. So all of you are welcome to come and be a part of that session.